What's up everybody, Doc Dark 1985 there's levels to this. I got a quick video for you guys tonight. Okay, so as you guys know, you guys seen the news by now, Sony is coming out with uh, another remaster, right? Another unnecessary remaster, unnecessary remake. It is what it is. So let's get this, let's get this out the way so that the comment section can control themselves, right? Sony PlayStation has won the console wars. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. If you're comparing consoles between the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, Sony has won the console war. All right, Xbox is not even trying to compete with them on a console by console basis, and they can't. Sony outsold them. Sony has the console that the developers are using the most. Sony has the console that games are not skipping, regardless if they're being money had it or not. I don't care. As a gamer, you shouldn't care why a game is not going to your console. You should just wonder why. You should just want the game to be on your console, and if it's not, then that's a problem, right? So, and that whole money had thing to me is hilarious because everybody know that knows that Microsoft has more money than Sony. So if Sony's outbidding Microsoft for these games, then it is what it is. Sony's doing whatever it is. It is what they need to do, right? So console wise, hardware wise, Sony is destroying the game right now, and that's props to them, right? And that's great. That's outstanding. Okay. Here's the problem with this. Okay. Since the beginning of this generation. I've been saying that PlayStation has been riding, the PS5 has been riding the coattails of the PS4. It has. It has. It's been riding the popularity of the PS4. The people that have PS5, I know everyone used to argue with me that you get a PS5 for exclusives and all this other stuff. That's a lie. That's, that's, that's blatantly a lie. You buy a PS5 because it's like the Apple of gaming. It's just a more popular brand. You don't even really know why you're buying a PS5. It's just... You buy the PS5. When you look at the games that are played the most on the PlayStation 5, they're not the exclusive games. These are facts. And then when exclusivity was a thing, then it became nobody needs the Xbox because other games are going to PC. Then these, those games started going to PC. And then that argument became stupid, right? Because as a PlayStation fan, you can't tell me buy a PC instead of an Xbox because all games are going to go to PC, when the same thing's happening on the PlayStation platform, all those games are going to PC as well. What you're going to tell me that, that I got to wait a little bit more? That's like that's that's ridiculous, right? But at least Sony still had the creative advantage, and Sony still had the IPs that people cared about, and everything like that. But the beginning of this generation, we've been calling the PlayStation the the the, the remaster station. That has been a theme. Remakes and remaster. I've made plenty of videos of PlayStation remaking and remastering and giving people the same thing over and over again. And and the PlayStation fan base supporting it. The PlayStation fan base. So this is the monster that you have created. You see, we are in a time and place right now. We're making something new and it not succeeding is too expensive. They would lose too much for them to try to make something new and it not succeed. So it's easier to stick to the same formula over and over again. So much so that remastering and remaking something just makes way more sense. And this is why we're left where we're at. As great as Sony PlayStation is hardware wise, for whatever reason, they are terrified, terrified to give us something new. They are terrified. And I mean, to be fair, how can you really blame them when they gave us something new and it was trash? Concord is the worst game of this generation. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. You can't even deny it. It is so horrible that Sony themselves canceled it. Okay? Redfall, you can still play today. You can say whatever you want about Redfall, but you can still play that today. Concord is that bad, and if you're going to be that stupid, it'd be like, Sony knew it was bad, and that's why they canceled it. No, idiot, Sony knew that it was going to make them zero money at all, period, point blank, and that's why they canceled it. They came out with Helldivers, and Helldivers was good, right? So Helldivers came out, Helldivers was good, and then they messed that up themselves as well. Because they got too greedy. They weren't fine with just the, the money that they made from Helldivers with the PC community. Now they wanted the PC community to go ahead and sign up for their stuff. They should have just done it a different way. Because the PC community with games like Ghost of Tsushima and stuff like that, they're going to go ahead and sign up. Trust me. Or when newer games come out day and day, people are going to sign up. It is It just is what it is. But the way they did it was kind of slimy.
So PlayStation right now is in a weird, weird state. So before you attack me saying, hey, why you care about this? Um, you're a PC gamer now. This is net. I care about games. You're right. I'm a PC gamer now. So I care about games. And PlayStation is a publisher on PC. So you see, that's why I could talk about it. Because PlayStation is, in fact, a publisher on PC. Actually, they just had a 75% sale on Steam the other day. I almost bought something, but I spoke to my boy ISO. And ISO was like, bro, ain't none of those games worth it for that price. You got to wait for them to drop even lower. That's how Steam players play. And I was like, ah, okay, bet. So I'm going to wait for them to drop a little bit more. And then we'll go from there, right? But now PlayStation is going to go ahead and remaster Horizon Zero Dawn. Which, in my opinion, is the better of the two Horizons. I like Horizon Zero Dawn a lot, actually. I actually think it's a really good game. Then I heard another rumor that they're going to remaster uh, Days Gone, which I also, I love Days Gone. I thought Days Gone is a really great game. I beat that on Steam as well, okay? There's no need to remaster these games, especially when you're about to come out with a PlayStation 5 Pro, which that, that console... On the merit of its power itself, playing those old games should have made it feel like they were already remastered. Similar to what Xbox did with FPS Boost. But instead, they're going to remaster the game and you're going to want to play the remastered game on the remastered console. Because that's what the PlayStation 5 Pro is. It's a, it's a remastered console. I saw people comparing images of like... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy or whatever, and it's like, oh, it's clearer here. It's it's not that clear there. Okay, cool. It's a little bit clearer in a still picture. In motion, unless it was really blurry in motion, which everyone was capping for that game, like it was perfectly fine. So I don't know. Y'all tell me. I don't know. Now all of a sudden, Final Fantasy needed to, it wasn't as clear as it should have been. Disingenuous. How how the PC the the PlayStation fans are is crazy. Anyways, though, I. I, I need my PlayStation content creators to now that Xbox is dead as a console, right? I'm letting you know right now. Forget, don't even worry about it. The Xbox as a console is not a threat. Don't even worry about it, okay? Xbox as a game publisher, hey, man, all those games suck. Don't even worry about it, right? So I need you to focus on your console of choice, which is PlayStation, okay? And I'm going to watch as a PC gamer because to me, PlayStation is nothing more but just a, 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 a filthy publisher like every other publisher, right? That I hope brings me great games. I need you to tell me why PlayStation can't produce brand new great IPs. What is going on with PlayStation? What is wrong? Is that formula that they had no longer sustainable? And if that's the case, if that formula is no longer sustainable, is this going to be their new formula? Remakes and remasters? Is this going to be the new formula? Now, this this could work if you if they remade and remaster the games that people actually wanted. Jack and Dexter, the older Ratchet and Clank. Some people want Sly, Sly Cooper. I want all the infamous. Bro, you remaster all the infamous? Bro, let's do it. Right? Like, like remaster a lot of the games that, that would make sense. You have the whole a PS3 library that can't be played. Remaster those games and have them come over. If you do that, now you got something. But remastering Horizon Zero Dawn. Remastering games like Days Gone, remastering games, even though I like those games, right? You're, 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 what you're doing is you're showing that you got nothing left and you're hoping, you're hoping that you can continue to trick these fans to keep buying the same thing over and over again. At the end of the day, I can't blame Sony because you ponies have been supporting them, buying these remakes and remasters and capping for them as if they've been producing great things i've said it already this generation so far in my opinion the best publisher so far on the playstation side for sure no questions asked is probably insomniac insomniac has been carrying the ps5 oof, left and right right that's what i would argue okay but besides them ain't not, ain't there's nothing else on that side everything else that the playstation 5 is thriving off of is a third party publisher so I'll leave you with this. Maybe, just maybe, Sony's new direction will be to be the preferred hardware. But they no longer got the juice to make great quality games. Just maybe. Or maybe they can pivot and make more games like they did Astrobot. 
Cause I know everybody loved Astro Bot. It got great reviews, and I can't wait to to for you guys to brag about how much it sold. Cause I know the way I talked about Astro Bot, I know it sold at least fifteen million. I know it did. No, not fi- oh, ten million. It's, I know it sold at least ten million. I know it did. Right. So, um, yeah, maybe Sony goes that way and pivots that way. But the big AAA blockbuster games that Sony was doing, I don't know what's going on. Where where are these games that Sony is known for? It is what it is. Look, man, I'm talking as a PC gamer because Sony is a publisher on my platform. So don't tell me that I can't talk about Sony. I'm not talking that as a console. Console wars are over. Sony won. So don't worry about that. Doc Dark 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.